So this week uh, we will talk about the probability theory. So that is also another important concept in machine learning. And also we are going to introduce a new machine learning model, which is Naive Bayes. So Naive Bayes has been very success in um, um, classify the text messages. So especially that, uh, for example, if you want to make sure uh, predict whether or not an email is a spam or not. So Naive Bay has been very success. And Naive Bay is highly um, based on the prob probability theory. So this week, we will introduce the probability theory, so some basic ideas and also concept that has been very important um, in machine learning and also um, kind of the foundation of the model that we will talk this week. So let's talk about the probabilities. Um, <clears throat> so probability is a way that we can quantify the uncertainty associated with events that come with some kind of universe of events. So uh, we donate the probability of one event happening as P. OK, so P stands for the probability of the event of a specific event happen. So for example, that uh, right now, uh, who will win the election? So that P of the Trump will be the probability that Trump will win the election. And also P um, Biden will be the probability that Biden will win the election. And we know that those two together should equal to one. OK. And the, the probability of E comma F. So that donate that probability if both events happened. OK, if both events happened. Um, let's say, for example, that uh, the probability that uh, we're going to have online class uh, next um, uh, next week and also probability that uh, next week we are going to have a ring okay so that is a probability that if both happens so what is probability okay having online class probably I would say 90% if there's nothing change and the ring so that you can you can see the forecast so probably that is 50% okay so that is probability that if both happen together so what will be that probability so this donate that one and we know that if E and F are independent, then the probability of those both events happen together will be the P of event A times the P of event F. So here we see that having online class is in independent of the weather of the next week because we are having online class so that um, so the weather will not influence uh, our class model so that in that case, it will be the 90% of having online class times the 50% of having a ring next week. So that will equal 0.9 times 0.5. So that is 0.45. OK, so that if two events are independent. OK, um, so a little bit tricky part is what we call it conditional probability. We know that in in a world that actually nothing are really in, totally independent of each other. So if two events are not necessarily independent, okay, and the p of the probability of the e on condition on f, so that the event happened, the event of e happened on the condition that f happened equals to this formula. So uh, the probability that e happened on the condition f happened equals the p that both happened divided by the p that f happened. <clears throat> OK, so if those two events are not independent. OK, so let's back to our example. So let's say that uh, the online class the probability is 0.9. Uh, the ring next week, the probability is 0.f. So if you really think that, so this is actually not totally independent. So for example, if there's a severe 
storm next week, probably JMU will close campus, probably even the online class will be canceled. So because, you know, the, the internet has been interrupted. Well, that is very rare, but it's, it's not 100% uh, independent. So in that case, okay, let's say that P that have online class on the condition of the ring equals that both happens. Okay, so both happens that is P point. Um, <coughs> okay, and divided by the probability of ring. Okay. Uh, next, so uh, we also have the formula. So if two uh, events happen together, then that uh, probability equals the P of the E happen on, on the condition of F times uh, the P of F. Okay, so that is basically that if we move this one to the formula to the left and also the, if we, uh, uh, we move this one to the right. Okay, so then we all have this result. And again, so if P prob event E and F are totally independent, okay, so if that is totally independent, then actually the event of E on the condition of F, the P of event E on the condition F equals uh, the, the, event, the probability of event of E. Okay, uh, so if they are two in totally in independent, then the P of event E on the condition F is just depend on the P of E itself. Okay, event E itself. So that, so that is where when E and F are totally independent. Okay, uh, let's see one example. So that might be um, clear. So let's, we assume that uh, the gender of each child is equal. So that, um, the, the child is equal to be a baby, to be a boy or girl. So to be a boy and also girl are totally independent. So when you, um, um, and also the gender of the second child is independent of the gender of the first child. So for example, if the first child is boy, okay, and the gender of the second child can be either boy or girl, okay. So that is a that is totally independent on the gender of the first child. Okay. And also the baby can be a boy and also can be a girl. So to be a boy, the P of 0.5, to be a girl, the P is also 0.5. And uh, let's say that the P of having two boy. So what is the P of having two boy? And the probability is that have one um, boy, have one child as boy times the second child as boy. So that's 0.25 because those two events are totally independent. So that having two boys is equal to this one. And what is the P of having two girls? So that is similar. So it's also 2.25. Okay. And next, what is the P of having one girl and also one boy? Okay, so what is the P of having one girl and also one boy? Okay, so here, so that is a tricky part. So there are only three options. So um, if you have two children, there are only three scenarios. So even either you have two boy or you have two girl or you have one girl and also one boy. Okay, so there are only three scenarios. So having two boy is 0.25, two girl is 2.25. And the last scenario is one minus 2.5 and also minus uh, 0.25. So that the result is 0.5. Okay, so having one girl and also one boy is 0.25 because there are only three scenarios when we're talking about having two um, babies. Okay, so what if that, uh, what the P of event that both are girls on the condition that the first baby is girl? Okay, so what is likelihood of that? So we already have the first 
child is a girl, and what is the probability that you have two child children as girl, two babies as girls? That is that have both things as girls on the condition of first as girl equals probability that you have girls both as girls and also um um and also the first is girl divide the probability that um <coughs> uh you have one girl and this one that if you have one if you have both as girls then you definitely have one as girl so that this one actually equals to the probability that you have both as girls divided by that you have one as girls and we know that both has both as girls is 0.25 so that's here and also one as girls is 0.5 so that the the p that both are girls on the condition that the older child is girl is 0.5 okay so that is based on the conditional um, probability And what is a p that both are girls on the condition that at least one is a girl? At least one is a girl. Okay. And that means that both as girls on the condition that at least one is girls equals those two happens together divided by at least one is girl. Okay. And this happened together. So if at least one is girl and also both are girls, the probability actually equals both are girls. Okay, because if both are girls, then at least one is girl. That will that was mad. So that this equals both as girls. That is this one. And at least one is girls. That one we um, calculated that is actually is this. Okay, because at least one is girls equals one minus both are boys. Okay, one minus both are boys, so that it will be 0.75. Okay, so the final result is 0.33. So that is both are girls on the condition that at least one is girl. Okay, so that condition, that P is 0.33.